Sometimes it's nice to dream a little bit. And in this video I'm gonna dream about a lens. What would be my dream lens? Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and in this video I'm gonna talk about my dream lens. What would be my dream lens if I could choose every characteristics and uh, features for that lens? But what's the point? There are already so many great lens designs. Yes, there are, but if I could design my dream lens from the ground up, then it would be 100% perfect for me. And none of the existing designs are. They're almost there, like 90-95%, but not 100%. So, let me tell you what would be my dream lens. And of course, I'd like to use my dream lens as much as possible. So it would have to be suitable for my everyday photography. It could not be any special purpose lens. A zoom or a prime? A prime, of course, because a, a prime lens could be smaller in size and lighter in weight. And also, prime lens would be optically better, because the optical design can be optimized for that one focal length. And also, a, a prime lens would be easier to learn to use, and by that I mean it would be easier to learn all the optical characteristics, the special characteristics of a prime lens. A zoom is always a bit uh, like ambiguous, because there are so many focal lengths that uh, you really can't um, uh, kind of get to know a zoom lens as well as a prime lens. And a prime could be designed to have nicer optical characteristics in general compared to a zoom lens. So what about the focal length then? If it was a full frame lens, it would have to be between 28 and 50 millimeters. And if it was a micro four thirds lens, it would be between 14 and 25 millimeters. Uh, 50 millimeter or 25 uh, in micro four thirds has always felt a bit like too tight uh, to my taste for general photography. Although I've learned to like it more and more over the years, but still it's a little bit too tight. 28 instead is a little bit too wide. And also that focal length I've learned to like more and more, but still today it feels a little bit too tight for general photography lens. But if I had to choose between 28 and 50, I would take uh, 28. But my dream lens would be a 35 millimeter prime. Or uh, if it was a micro four thirds lens, it would be a 17 millimeter. That's still my favorite. It's always been my favorite focal length and it still is. So it would be a 35 or 17. And then the maximum aperture. Uh, on the Micro Four Thirds lens, the maximum aperture would be f1.4. So the lens would be a 17mm 1.4. And on the full frame lens, the maximum aperture would be f2. So the lens would be a 35mm f2. And why would I want those maximum apertures? Well, on that Micro Four Thirds lens, f1.4 would be enough to give me that shallow depth of field for those rare occasions when I need it, like environmental portraits, for example. And it would also be possible to make the lens relatively compact with that maximum aperture. If it was like uh, f1.2 or f1 lens, it would be too big and heavy already. And the same goes for the full frame lens, a 35 f2 would be compact enough, but still that f2 would be enough to give me that uh, shallow depth of field for those rare occasions when I need it. And then the size and the weight. In general, I'd like my dream lens to be as compact and lightweight as possible. 
that Micro Four Thirds Dream Lens, that 17 f 1.4, would have a 52 millimeter filter thread, and the weight of the lens would be around 250 grams. And the full frame lens, the 35 millimeter f 2, would have a 62 millimeter filter thread, and the weight of the lens would be around 300 350 grams. And I believe in both cases it would be possible to make uh, those kind of lenses with those kind of specifications. And then let's talk about the optical characteristics. The best part maybe. And those would be the same on both lenses. I'd like my lens to be very sharp in the middle of the frame, wide open, but I'd like it to be a little bit soft towards the corners and the edges of the frame. I'd like the lens to have a little bit like dreamy character when shot wide open. But stopped down by about two stops, it would be tack sharp from corner to corner. So the lens would have almost like double characteristics or double nature, how do you call it? Almost like two lenses in one. Slightly dreamy, wide open and extremely sharp when stopped down just a little bit. It would also have some vignetting wide open because I like vignetting. And the vignetting would be similar to many Zeiss lenses. They have quite a lot of vignetting, but the vignetting is really gradual and it looks really beautiful. And the bokeh, of course, would be really smooth and free of any bokeh wrenching and all that. And that, together with the wide open optical characteristics, would make really beautiful in environmental portraits, for example. And the lens would of course have a really fast autofocus and a manual focus clutch with a proper focusing scale for those uh, manual focus occasions. And the lens would be weather sealed so I wouldn't have to worry about uh, shooting in the rain or other harsh conditions. And it would also come with a lens hood of course. So my dream lens for Micro Four Thirds system would be a 17mm f1.4 and for a full frame system it would be a 35mm f2. Both with the optical characteristics I just uh, described earlier. But what would be your dream lens? What kind of specifications and features would it have? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.